you know, I was trying to do the Eminem and Kim thing. This is it's not a gangster. This ain't a gangster story, right? But or even no, you know what a story I did that was that really opened my eyes. I did the Kanye Kim Kardashian marriage. Oh, that video is incredible. Yeah, bro. right. I watched that entire thing. But it's like that was super interesting because it was just like let me really dig deep into this crazy relationship and just how crazy these two are. But as the more I looked into it, the more I almost understood how this was like, like. Ye had gotten to a point where he was so famous, it was like the one of the only people he could relate to was this Kim Kardashian, right? Yes. Of like the lifestyle that he was living. And it's like, you go into it with this preconceived notion of like, oh, Kim K's evil and she finessed him and all this stuff. And then you start learning about all the things that they'd been through and the things that she'd been through in their family history. And it kind of opens your eyes a little bit to like, oh, this there's actually a bit more understanding as to why things are the way they are here. So I try and go into a story with a fairly open mind, but sometimes you think you think you think it's going to be one thing and you look a bit deep and you're like, "Oh, it's actually yeah. something different." Like the Von thing for sure is a good example of like I didn't set out of like I'm going to put the serial killer documentary out. That came later, but obviously once I realized that he met that definition and I started continuing to write the script, yeah, then, then so. I leaned into that angle a little bit more, but that wasn't it wasn't like I had this preconceived notion of how I wanted it to go and then I made it fit that. I'm very focused on the facts. Like if I find a fact that contradicts some shit that I want to say or that I'm trying to say, I'm going to have to revisit the whole yeah. structure and turn it around. You know, there's stuff of like people that I've wanted to look into and it's like you just find out what you thought you knew was untrue and it's kind of you got to take a step back and be like, okay, maybe he ain't a killer yeah. like that or maybe he is. This guy's actually is really what they say he is type thing. Um, but like I'm focused on the facts, man. I really am just like so grounded in like I don't want to put out anything false. I don't want to put out misinformation. Like if you watch one of my videos and every now and then I'll get something wrong and I'd always throw up my hands and say like, yeah, I was wrong happen. about a few details. Yeah. But like my thing is, it's like, if I make something four hours, it's going to be the facts. It's going to be the most factual documentation of an artist of a story that you could possibly find. Like that's my goal. Yeah. I, and you do a great job with it, but I, I was not, the celebrity like relationship drama and stuff is i mean i'm very behind on that stuff like that's not really my cup of tea what i do i was not intending to watch your kim kanye video this was earlier this week but i'm, I'm like okay oh i mean three and a half hours on this i clicked it and within five minutes i was going for a walk i listened to the whole fucking thing i think i maybe i have like a half hour left in it but like it was very interesting to hear the psychological mm ties that you put there mm. with them because you do, you think of them from these totally different worlds and you actually pointed out you're like here's kanye came from nothing had a had a stroke of genius worked his ass off grinded mm. didn't even get his real come up till he was 28 or 29 mm. years old then you got kim dad was a hot shot lawyer grew up with a lot of money around everyone in la wasn't really famous for anything other than being famous because then she was famous for having a sex, sex tape, tape or yeah. whatever. But then, you know, was able to, the two of them, like, find this mm -hmm. common ground. It's, and, and you know, the cynic and you could be like, oh, anything the Kardashians do is like a sham relationship. I, I don't think it was. I, I, yeah. I, I think that, I think it was, I think it was very real with those mm -hmm. two people. And I have heard, I'll say about Kim, I've heard some behind the scenes stuff about her that she's like, kind of a real person believe yeah. it or not i haven't yeah. heard that about some of the others i don't know how good that information is but like i've heard that and and you kind of see it when when you see this relationship and the way you laid it out yeah and that, that's a fascinating story as well because it's like the, as i started looking into it it's like for, for, to me it seems like things really fell apart when kanye got into politics and he was trying to run for president and and all that kind of thing and kim was kim was getting involved into politics but from a different angle she was trying to do the prison reform stuff and it was just so interesting to see how that relationship really fell apart with yay throwing himself out there for the trying to be president and mm -hmm. just how much negativity that brought to the family and like it's through the research it's like i'm researching this trying to piece together what i think of the story and it's like i'm learning about this aspect and that aspect and kim's working with trump and she's trying to she's yeah. trying to um get people out of jail and she's trying to do this prison reform thing and just how they both kind of like work together, but then also against each other. It's just fascinating. And again, that's that's from me being a true fan. Like I'm researching that project, reading every interview that Kim is in where she mentions him or every article Everyone. that's written about their wedding, every appearance on Keeping Up With The Kardashians where <laughs> Kanye popped up. And it's just like, I'm trying to get a complete picture of like anything to do with their relationship. I want it to be in that video and I want you to understand how it came about, how it fell apart. 
And I'm just obsessive, but that's what I love to do. Like research, I remember researching that video and just how interesting it was. Every day there'd be some new interview, some new clip, some new article about their marriage that I'd have never seen before. And it's just like, I just love doing this. I just love this. Like I'm obsessed with the info. It's genuine. And like, it's just a blessing to be able to do this as a job, honestly, like uh, to, to be able to dig so deep into the stories that I think matter the most. And like, yeah. it's uh, it's a blessing. But I'm glad you liked that because I think sometimes I get put in this box of this true crime gangster stuff, which I'm deeply invested in. I really care about drill music and the history and the scene and the young guys coming up. But at the same time, like, I love to jump on for a month and do a Kanye Kim yeah. kind of history, you know, the Eminem Kim Kim Mathers history, even, uh, you know, in the way in the past, like I've done just so many different types of videos of like different people's careers, you know, the 6 9 story. There's just so much more than just the drill gangster stuff, but that's what I've become most famous for, I think, because... I think because that's a topic area people really want to know about and there's not enough information out there really breaking down the history of it. So I feel like that's caught on in a way bigger than maybe the relationship drama videos. And and it's crazy because their lives are like her life and mm. that family's life is literally covered through camera. Yeah. But it's this, it's a facade because it's mm. like, well, it's a reality show, right? But then you actually get together all the things that you can say are real and that did happen. And mm. then you can see some of it on video, you know, when like when Kanye was filmed at his opening thing in Charleston for mm. the 2020 election where mm -hmm. he kind of lost it. And yeah. then you see, okay, this is where this is going off the rails because he's also going off the rails. Yeah. You know, something, you know, what do what you, obviously I, I'm completely with you. I the, the shit he was saying was just really sad to yeah. me like when 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 you're going on shows and saying things anything like nice about hitler it's like dude yeah stop but it's, like what, that, what do you yeah. what do you think like he's he seems to be uncancelable and still somehow despite it like in a weird way lovable like i'd love love's a strong word but <sighs> like lovable's a reach for me yeah, but yeah. yeah like um like you get you get a laugh mm seeing him say random shit not the stuff not that stuff you know what i mean i think he's, he's one of those cases where i'm unfortunately or unfortunately his art is so good it's been so good over the years yeah. that and you know he's he it's when he goes off on his rant and he's like i'm the picasso of this generation he he's kind of right he he's kind of right and it sucks that he's out here saying horrible stuff about jewish people and he's bigging up hitler it's embarrassing and it's it's sad to see somebody that artistically is so smart, but like from a self awareness point of view, he's so nothing, so dumb. But you know, he's coming out saying he's got autism now. I mean, it's, it's certainly not an excuse, but also it's, it's not like, an excuse. It's, he it's, definitely it's, does. Though. It's like a point of understanding of like, oh, okay, go on, maybe that explains some of this stuff. But it's really sad to watch someone. I mean, I grew up listening to Kanye. I remember college dropout coming out, mm -hmm. being a kid, and just really loving this this new rapper that I'd found that was kind of smart. Yep. Like his early bars compared to the other guys that he was around, people like Jay-Z that were on you know his label, as far as the people that he was around coming up, he was completely different. He was this backpack rapper that yep. was kind of cool and commercial, not street, but from Chicago. So it, it's been sad to see as far as like the things that he's put out there over the last couple of years being kind of embarrassing and sad and just, you know, offensive to people thank you for watching the video guys if you haven't already subscribed please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below